Oh, geez. We got an update to the Chris Tyson situation going on downtown. You know what I'm saying? Twitter over here going crazy on this Chris Tyson situation. We got Rolling Stone magazine out here just absolutely playing to the left. You know what I'm saying? Happens a lot in government. Happens a lot in politics. Happens a lot in social media, guys. We got two things that are the same, but one of them's not alike, and the other one is just not right. You know what I'm saying? It's the same scenario. Bias takes over. Conflict. Same situation. But anyways, going forward, we got Mr. Beast over here on Twitter, guys. What's going on? It's your boy, Flitter. We got a brand new YouTube video bringing you guys a brand new <laughs> update to the Chris Tyson situation. Mr. Beast, a.k.a. Um, Jimmy, I forgot his last name, I'm gonna be real, I don't even know his docs like that, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy over here, over the last few days I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. This coming after uh, Chris Tyson was of course outed for talking to minors and being very public in nature and just having some really, really weird conversations. The kind of conversation you'd have with your homies at 3 a.m. Uh, while you're playing GTA and uh, you say, shut up, I'm gonna kiss you dog, you know what I'm saying? Some weird stuff like that, but this is a minor. Is it's not even that that doesn't actually happen, you know what I'm saying? That, that's on my anyways. Miss Beast goes on and says, During that time, I've been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken an immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. Now, I'm going to be real. I don't know what I expected from Mr. Beast, but it most certainly was not this. I'm going to be real, Jimmy. This does not look good. Even FaZe Banks himself says, imagine this is a weird slash hard time for you. People forget you're a real, living, breathing human. Mr. Beast is a larger than life, is larger than life, excuse me, and I understand why people hold you to those standards that they do, but I hope you're doing okay. Can't be easy when this happens with a day one friend. Love you. And then Jake uh, Franklin, Jake the Viking, who was part of Mr. Beast squad, goes ahead and says this. I don't know what I was expecting, but uh, this, this ain't it, and I'm going to be real. I kind of agree with that. I agree with FaZe Banks, and I also agree with Jake the Viking here. I don't know what else Mr. Beast can actually do. I don't blame Mr. Beast for his previous, you know, interactions and stuff like that. Because he's not out here talking to minors. I mean, Mr. Beast knows where he's at in the world. He is the largest creator on the platform. Those, those things before, the little videos that he had before where he's just talking shit and saying F slurs and stuff like that, he just had a million subscribers back then. And there's a million other YouTubers who have way more subscribers than Jimmy does that are still doing that to this day. I mean, he doesn't do it anymore. He obviously knows that it's wrong. And that was way back in like the Call of Duty COD lobby era. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was saying the F slur. Everybody was saying the R slur. Everybody was saying anything and everything over the mic on Xbox Live anyways. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give, I'm going to forgive him on that notion. The problem I have is I think it should have been out of sooner. I think Mr. Beast knew, and I don't really like that everyone's going after Mr. Beast now about it. I, where, where was this hate back then? You know what I'm saying? There are a couple stragglers out there, but this guy's planting trees. He's cleaning oceans. He's building wells. He's doing all these other things that I think are way more credible, way more charitable. And I honestly think the receipts match up. Uh, his wrongdoings with the F-slur, what you think he did back then, I think it matches up now. Because he didn't just say this now. He said this seven, eight, ten years ago. The only issue I have is this Chris Tyson situation. I'm pretty sure you guys knew about it. It has to be hard. It had to be hard. That's a childhood friend he's grown, he's grown up with, was roommates with. I mean, if I was in Jimmy's shoes, I don't know what I would do. If I saw my friend going through this kind of stuff and then doing this, he like, you know, left his family, wanted to be transgender, I was talking to minors on, how do I come about this, right? That's a childhood friend and it would honestly hurt me. And I think it's easier just to not talk about it. I mean, that's the situation. It's just easier not to talk about it. I think that's what Jimmy was doing, just trying not to talk about it. But reality hits you hard sometimes, like a, like a ton of bricks. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. The Mr. Beast update is kind of crazy. I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're brand new. Hit that notification bell icon. I'm part of the infamous notification squad. Guys, become a member today. We are on the road to 150 memberships on this channel. We got some exclusive content for you, exclusive Turd Island merch. We got some exclusive clips, exclusive Spurg offs, exclusive Spurg calls. Uh, limited calls. We also got a whole bunch of other behind the scenes stuff going on with Turd Island, AWT members only stuff. Just a whole bunch of stuff. The whole thing. Just a bunch of infighting, a bunch of fight. You guys don't even know. You guys don't even know. There's, I got a man setting himself on fire. All right, that's actually a lie. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Become a member today, and I'll see you all on the flip.